Hello and welcome to another video tutorial on understanding body language, liars, cheats and happy feet. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed my videos to date. I've done quite a few different ones ranging from like Michael Jackson, um, I've done Bill Clinton, I've done Sean Jenkins, I've done one from Area 51. Uh, and what I'm going to do now... <clears throat> Is something I'm sure you've seen on the news the last couple of days, the phone hacking inquiry uh, between obviously with James Murdoch and uh, Rupert Murdoch, which I'm going to do shortly. <coughs> so, I'll make a start on this one. So obviously, uh, this is the video I put on my page the other night. I uh, did a little bit of a brief um, written commentary on this. So we'll start the video and let's see if we can spot anything else. So we'll start with obviously James Murdoch. I'd like to say as well just how sorry I am and how sorry we are. Uh, to particularly the victims of illegal voicemail interceptions and to their families. It's a matter of great regret of mine, my father's, and everyone at News Corporation. And these are standards, these, these actions... Okay, let's stop it right there. Right, so the opening statement there from James was pretty good. Uh, no speech errors, and he gave the the panel good eye contact. So I'm going to play this part again. Watch out for James's eye, James's eye movement throughout the whole period. I think it was about uh, 11 or 12 people on the panel. Uh, and he gives each one of them good direct eye contact. So that's a good sign. So I think um, from this statement here that we are seeing potential um, realisation and, and uh, sadness to what's occurred uh, with the news of the world and the phone hacking inquiry. Now then, we can't get on a baseline uh, of James because this is basically only a four uh, minute uh, segment of a three hour long interview, which I didn't see all of it. So I've just seen bits and bobs of it. So again, I can't rely on what his baselines are, but if it's anything like that, it's a pretty good start. So watch it again. And how sorry we are. Eye contact, uh, head movement. Too. Particularly he looked around to everybody, moving his head, his eyes round. That's a good sign. A of great so James here, Murdoch, is off to a good start. The victims of illegal voicemail interceptions and to their families. It's a matter of great regret of mine, my father's, and everyone at News Corporation. And these are standards. These, these actions do not live up to the standards that our company aspires to. Uh, the double controlling gesture there that Rupert make, Rupert's making is very interesting. Okay, so he's not making any open palm gestures. Everything's nicely tucked inside. Um, so we'll keep an eye on Rupert later Everywhere on. Everywhere around the world. And it is our determination to both put things right, make sure these things don't happen again, and to be the company that I know we have always aspired to be. Okay. As for my comments, Mr. Chairman, or my statement, which I believe was around the closure uh, of the News of the World newspaper. There we go, look at that. That was a spontaneous interruption there by Rupert. Look at the tactilix, um, use of the tactics, the arm touch there. And that has come to great surprise from James. Now let's just watch what Rupert says here. Uh, of the News of the World newspaper. I would just like to say one sentence. This is the most humble day of my life. Thank you. No, there was absolutely no reason to say that whatsoever there, was there? Um, it's a spontaneous interruption, and you don't interrupt, interrupt somebody with just one statement, uh, no matter how powerful you are. So, again, that was very interesting there for everybody. It looked very out of character for Mr. Murdoch, um, it must be said. So. Before you get to that, I would just like to say one sentence. This is the most humble day of my life. Thank you. And he goes back to his gesture. from your company in now let me just pause it now. Now this next question asked by uh, this MP here is what I call a hot question. It's when you're asked something that you're not comfortable in discussing um, because you're not ready yet to give up all the facts. And I think that is what happens in this situation. Now bear in mind, let's just have a look at James's baselines here. And how sorry we are. Uh, to particularly the victims. Of good, everything, all speech in the right place, everything's pretty good there. However, let's start from here again and let's watch James' responses. Days Tom so his bass lines are pretty good. Of Rebecca Brooks and of Les Hinton. Is that because any of them had knowledge of phone hacking? The, uh, uh, there is, I, I, have, I have no knowledge. Goodness me, that took about five, six seconds to get going. The, Let's just listen to those speech errors, those paralinguistic errors, and watch and listen to how fast James speaks right now. Of phone hacking. The, uh, uh, there is, I, I have, I have no knowledge. 
the uh, uh, there is I, I have I have no knowledge and there is no uh, evidence uh, uh, that uh, that that I that I'm that I'm aware of that uh, Mrs. Brooks or Mr. Hinton uh, or or or, 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 the, or any. Blimey. So we've had a complete contrast from the good start that James had, uh, the opening start of this interview, and now he is struggling like mad. And we've got paralinguistic errors, we've got speech errors, we had a massive five-second false start. He wasn't he wasn't sure which context he was going to use, me, him, I, the... The, uh, uh... There is, I, I have... I the, there and I. So we've got different uh, statements there. So again, he's not quite sure what to say to this particular question. So this is a hot question. So I'm certainly sure that the, um, the, the ongoing police investigation will have spotted these gestural slips. And I'm sure they'll be questioning James a, bit, no a little bit more about that question. There's no uh, evidence. Uh... So bear in mind, we're not suggesting that he's lying in the slightest. We're just saying that his limbic response, so his immediate response is his brain's all over the place and he isn't quite sure what he's going to say next. That I'm aware of, that uh, Mrs. Brooks or Mr. Hinton um, or, 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 or the, any of gulp. those executives um, had knowledge. Uh, of that and their assertions, uh, certainly Mrs. Brooks and, and uh, assertions uh, to me of her knowledge of those things uh, has been has been clear. So we've got speech errors all over that place. Anyway, let's just fast forward it now to Rebecca Brooks gave evidence to this. Rupert Murdoch. Now, bear, bear in mind, Rupert's eighty. I've had loads of questions about body language when you're eighty. Um, it doesn't matter how old you are. If you tell the truth, it will convey through your body language. If you conceal, if you falsify again, it will come out through your body language. If you're 80 or 180, it doesn't matter. Um, your brain will slow down. However, your gestures and movements should not necessarily slow down if they're not impeded by any kind of uh, skeletal or muscular condition. Right, so here comes Rupert. I am now aware of that. I was not aware at the time. I'm also aware that she... Um, amended that. So we've got speech errors and pausing. Very quickly afterwards. I think she amended it seven or eight years afterwards. But did you or anyone else? Sorry. Did you or anyone else at your organisation investigate this at the time? No. Can now then, what's going to happen now is watch out for Rupert Murdoch's banging on the desk and how they do not sync with his verbal communication. I'm sorry, I'm... I have, Here we go. Let me just say something. Come on. And this is not is an excuse. Maybe it's an explanation of my laxity. The news of the world is less than 1% of our company. That bit's in sync, so that's the truth. However... ...thousand people around the world we, who are proud and great and ethical and... Um, now then, did you catch that then? What happened the world, then? ...is less than 1% of our company. I employ 53,000 people around the world we, who are proud... There you go. Did you spot that? Did you spot what Rupert Murdoch's wife did when he saw he was banging on the ground on the desk too much? She intervened. Did You, you might have missed that one. Let's watch that again. Watch for the lady in the um, the pink here and watch how she reaches forward, which something. is Rupert Murdoch's wife. And this is not... Is an excuse? Maybe it's... Explanation of my laxity. The news of the world is less than 1% of our company. Watch for the and for 53,000 people around the world we, who are. There you go. So the touch was there, subconscious touch forward. It's almost like a non verbal clip to Rupert Murdoch telling him to stop banging because he's showing his authority. I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm an important man. But his timing and synchronization between those and his verbal connotations are massively out. Again, Perhaps. just in the wrong place. If everything was the truth, everything would happen at the same time. But it doesn't. It's miles apart. And I'm spread watching and, and appointing people uh, whom I trust to run those divisions. Why did you not dis dismiss News of the World Chief Reporter Neville Thorbeck following the Mosley case? I'd never heard of it. Okay. So that sounds like it was the truth. That, that looks pretty good to me. I think that is the truth. Despite a judge making clear that Thilbeck set out to bl blame two of the women involved. I didn't hear that. A judge. Ah, now then, there you go. Look at that. 
Now then, Rupert didn't hear that one. That must have been a hot question. Because he was sat in exactly the same place as the previous question. Doesn't take his eyes off him. He doesn't do anything with his hands. Or he doesn't do anything... Just making clear that Thilbeck set out to blame two of the women involved. I didn't hear that. A judge. He did hear that. So that is a stall tactic, definitely, I think. I think he did hear it. There was no evidence to suggest he was looking at somebody else or listening to somebody else. So I think he did hear it, but it gives him time to create something in his mind um, with the next five to seven seconds that he's got. Made it clear that Thilbeck set out to blackmail to draw it's your attention to this technique. serious wrongdoing. I think my son can perhaps answer that in more detail. So, we'll right stop case. it there. We'll just clip off that one and we'll go on to another part of the interview. Uh, which was this one. Now then, I'm sure you all saw this one. This made more, more of the news than the actual interview itself. It's where he got hit by some kind of fire. Now look at the fear micro-expression we see then from James. Massive fear. We watch it again in super slow motion. And we see Rupert. Look at that. That is absolutely massive fear. If we can see that, massive fear. So the jaw stretching. And the eyes, and I'm sure we can see the white above the eyelids as well. So that's a definite fear of micro expression. However, it's more macro because that is not uh, one fifteenth of a second. That's massive. And also, we look at that gesture there. I'm not quite sure what he was doing. He was looking at somebody else. I think he was eyeing up one of the ladies on the panel, actually. But uh, that's another story. So, and then what we'll see here is she just lunges in there like some kind of cheater and clouts that guy over the head. Um, so she did the right thing, and then he walks to police nice and slowly. So again, but this has made more news than anything else, and we can see that Rupert here is visibly shaking uh, and very startled about what's happened, and then obviously it cuts to um, cuts to the end of the show. There you go again. So that was real fear, micro expressions. That's not been uh, learned. I think um, the Murdochs have certainly had some body language coaching uh, by having their hands in front of them clasping. Um, and I'm sure they've been told to avoid any hand-to-face gestures, any um, distinguished movements that might reveal guilt, shame, anything like that. Um, so there you go, so that's my analysis. Um, I'm, it's, it's, it's not up for me to say if they're lying or if they're innocent or if they're guilty, but certainly there, there is a lot of um, speech errors and there's a lot of banging and aggression in the, in the wrong place, um, and that's your limbic response. Um, so there's certainly uh, a lot of unanswered questions there. So anyway, so I hope you enjoyed that video analysis on understanding Body language, liars, cheats and happy feet. Uh, I'd love some feedback on this. If you want me to do any more videos, please let me know. Uh, and I'll speak to you all soon. So from everybody here, take care and bye-bye for now.